Here we are going to simplify and combine this radical expression. Well, we have to work with CC, the 32 instead of the square root, the 18 instead of the square root, and the 98 instead of the square root, right? We are going to look at some of the perfect square numbers that we know first. So these are the perfect square numbers. So let's come up here. Let's take a look of square root of 32 first. We are going to ask ourselves, which of this number goes into 32? Well, we know 4 times 8 is equal to 32, right? But then, even better, we know that 16 times 2 will be 32. Let me break this down as square root of 16 times square root of 2. As we can see, 16 times 2 it will give us 32 inside, right? And then square root of 16, this is just going to be a nice number 4 in a second. Okay, and let's also do it with the number right here as well. We might as well, right? <laughs> so, screw 18. Well, which of this number goes into 18? You see that 9 goes into 18 twice. So, I can break down the screw 18 as square root of 9 times square root of 2. Okay, so here is how we break this down. Lastly, we have screw 98. Which of these numbers? goes into 98. Well, 49. Here, 49 times 2 will give us 98. So look at this, and I'm going to look at square root 49 times square root of 2. 49 times 2 will give us 98. And notice that you see, we wrote down the perfect square number first. Okay, so that's usually the style to do these kind of things. Anyways, right here, let me just put on the equal sign. We have by x to the third power, and then we will multiply the screw 16. It turns out to be just a regular 4, isn't it? And then I will maintain the square root of 2 right here. So this is the first part that we have. You could have multiplied the 4 and the 5 earlier, but then let me show you guys all the steps. Right here, I have minus. This is the 4 that we got. Well, the 4 right here, so I need to maintain, I mean. <laughs> and then the screw of 9 that we got earlier turns into a regular 3, so we can multiply this with the regular 3. And then, let's see what else do we have. We know we have a square root of 2 right here. But then, this is something that we haven't simplified yet. Here we have x to the 6th power inside of a square root. So what should we do? This is how. Here we have 6, and this is square root, meaning here is a number 2, the index here is 2. So what we do is, we can do long division, 6 divided by 2, that will give us 3 for the power. Well, this is going to be a power for the x, okay? Um, then you just multiply 3 times 2 is equal to 6, and you see that there's no remainder, so that's good. This means we can do what? x to the third power outside. So let me write down x to the third power outside. And 0 remainder means we have 0 x inside, okay? So, this is what we have, and lastly, and once again, this is the power for the x, not the cube root, okay? Lastly, we have plus, this is just a 7, it's a regular 7, and then let me write down the original x. And we also have the square root of 2, but then I see that here we have x to the fourth power, instead of the square root, once again, this is like index 2, so I'm going to do long division. 4 divided by 2, and we know that that will be 2, right? 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and then we minus, we get 0. So this means that, let me just write it better for you. This means that we can factor out 2 of the x outside. So, let me put on in blue. The x to the fourth power in the square root becomes x to the second power outside. So it looks like this. Okay, and now let's just put everything together. For the first one, we are going to work out 5 times 4. That will give us 20, and then we maintain the x to a third power, and then screw of 2. Second one, we will have minus 4 times 3, that's 12. This is x to the third power, as I mentioned, and then we have a regular square root 2. And then plus, this is 7 times x times x squared. So this is x to the first, x to the second, altogether we have x to the third. So that's 7, x to the third power, and then also the square root of 2. 
Alright, so is there anything else that we can do? Yes, we can because everybody here, they all have x to a third power square of 2, x to a third power square of 2, x to a third power square of 2. So what should we do then? We are here we have 20, right? And then minus 12. And then here we have plus 7. We're just going to add and subtract these numbers together. 20 minus 12 is 8. 8 plus 7 it will give us 15. And then the term stays the same, meaning we still have x to the third power, and then we multiply by square root of 2. So this right here will be the answer. 15x to the third power times square root 2. That's it.